The vehicle is a 2015 Ford uh, Transit Connect, 150 gallon water tank. Um, pretty much from the back, this is how it looks. I have the Adams Polish bottle holder. I actually, I rarely ever use chemical guys anymore. Some things I do like the clay luber and stuff, but the bottles, the half gallons fit perfectly to, to each gallon holder for the Adams. Um, so yeah, I keep a arsenal of different types of uh, products. I have magnetic bottle holders from Adam as well. Well, they're not magnetic. They have a industrial magnets between them to hold them in. See, as you can see, a few of them there. Tank, bam, hold on my daily driving, perfect. Have one there, one there. Um, pretty much that's where I have my dirty towels. Right now it's all clean. Down here is where I keep my storage. For towels i have it a mess i haven't folded them usually i do that and i fold it like that but i had a rough day today so i just crammed everything in because i was exhausted <laughs> but yeah so that's there down here i have my little step stool to get up on people's cars i also have this i bought it from um where did i get this from uh dick sporting goods i actually love to use this thing when i'm cleaning the wheels Plop it down, sit on it, and call it a day. That's also my tent. As far as the reel, it's a Cogs reel. Cox reel, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, model number 112350. Uh, thing with this reel, I like it. Um, it's very picky on the hose. A lot of people don't mention anything like that. But like you see this part here on the on the holes when you attach it on the inside here but on the inside you can't make that clearance for the turn also i realized that i guess when i bought it from them they never shipped me out one of those uh clip thingies to clip it on like they show in the pictures and all that stuff but whatever i don't want to wait any more longer i waited you know like a couple weeks for this so i started waiting so i just sucked it up uh, I have a little Maxion utility belt. It's all messed up already. It's old and beat up, but as long as it works. Right here, I control pretty much my entire setup through here. Um, I'm working everything wireless uh, plugs. I have inside here, I have a water pump. I was trying to do the external ones, like the ones you see, c -Doo or c sea jets or whatever it is that brand is called it was too much of a mission to plumb it out and all that stuff and then one by the time i cranked it on it didn't work and i got frustrated so i want internal water pump and let me show you here we go off to the side i went internal water pump feeds here to this uh brass y fitting um this goes down here to my car share pressure washer believe it or not for industry beginners pressure washer entry level this is actually very good i'm very happy with it um you know clearly every detailer's dream is to buy a krenzla but you know krenzla is uh pricey to say the least um but yeah so i have the water pump in here it feeds in here this is a return line to return back into the tank because that pump unfortunately i think pushes about 240 or 250 gallons per hour so it's a lot more flow than what the pressure washer uses so instead of causing it to short out it shoots it back in and i control everything through that switch over there via these these um bluetooth plugs um also i have created a four outlet that's ran through the back here all the way up to the generator there, if you can see it. I have my basic stuff here. I have my gloves. I have some of these. These actually come in very handy, especially when I do shampooing, like the floor mats and stuff, I'll hang them up on the door, clipped on. Just some basic 
chemicals here. This is like pretty much my little corner for basicness, basic washes. You know, you have interior cleaner, window cleaner, your foam cannon and wheel shine. Pretty much all you need to do a basic wash. I have an extra hose here. I have a tripod for my light in case I get caught in the dark. Um, yeah, this platform is reinforced all through down there to hold away the tank. This drawer is just a bunch of different things. I have brushes, I have tools, my drills, more brushes, some extra polishing pads and clay bar. I have ceramic coating. Uh, plastic razor blades in here. They come in very handy all the time. I call it my junk drawer. My vacuum, I have it here. I have it with a 50 foot hose. I already ordered the Cogs reels from Obsessed Garage. But according to them, it takes six to eight weeks for you to receive it. It's been seven weeks. I've messaged them a bunch of times on emails and nobody responds to me. So just careful when you buy from them. I know that sometimes they push a lot of the stuff there and it's high quality supposedly and all that. But I don't like that they don't respond to you. I mean, like it's, you know, you spend four or $500 on a reel. You know, at least you can tell me is it's going to be on the way soon. Nothing, just dead silence. He messaged me, returned my email once saying what email address that I use on the order. I gave him the email address, all the information, and never got a response. I have my little extractor here. I'm looking one day to upgrade, but clearly the time is not now. This is the plug I was talking about, the generator here. It goes through here. Extension cord. I also have an inverter for like light duty stuff in there. In here, I just have a couple extra things. Clay bar, extra chemicals, tape, and then like both polishers. So, yeah. And the inside of the cab, there's really nothing special going on in there, so. But yeah, that's my setup. It's still in its rough phases. I've been doing it as I go, little by little. Um, but yeah, so the next thing I should be getting in soon is a vacuum reel, and I'm gonna probably put it like right here. Weld some bars across and screw it into that and keep it here and go from there so as i go upgrading i'll go posting some videos up so you guys can see and hopefully it inspires you to get an, a couple ideas off of my setup i like it's fully functional like i said i go around to the generator it's electric start push the button cranks on come over here my first one controls the vacuum second one controls the pressure washer third one controls the pump in the tank and I control everything here. Once I have the vacuum reel here, it's great. It'll just be pull and pull and hit the buttons and call it a day. So um, hope you enjoyed, guys. And uh, subscribe and follow for more. Thanks.